Hey everyone, before we get into this video, I want to remind you that we are giving away a Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Switch OLED. We're also giving away a Tears of the Kingdom Collector's Edition and a Tears of the Kingdom pin from PAX East. You go ahead and enter that giveaway down in the pin comment or in the description. We're also on our road to 133,000 subscribers, which matches 133 years that Nintendo has existed. So I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel, drop a like on this video, and why don't you go down in the comments below and tell me what is your favorite guilty pleasure video game let me know all right so we have an interesting video for you right now obviously if you haven't watched my ultimate preview video i hope you go watch it put a lot of work into that one today but around the previews and we have some additional information that never made it into there and we're just going to kind of spread out the additional information in their own videos uh, for pretty much the rest of the week while we also cover other nintendo news uh, one big story, though, that isn't getting a lot of traction yet, because I'm not sure people are aware of it, because Nintendo of Japan, they've slapped down pretty hard, and that is IGN. So IGN, obviously, we know is one of the biggest video game outlets in the world, over 100 million views every single month, and that's just on their website. That's not counting video views. Look, they did an oopsie. This demo event that we got all this preview coverage from, came with a massive NDA. There were a lot of things you were not supposed to show and not supposed to talk about. One of those already sort of got leaked and it originally started with IGN in the US, although Nintendo seems to be sort of letting that one go. And that is the new auto build ability, right? Like that's something that at this point was already accidentally shown off in their footage and they also pretty much told us in one of their articles exactly how it works. So that is something that I'm not going to dive into right now, but it is something that IGN of the United States actually leaked. But what actually is the bigger deal here is what happened in Japan, and Nintendo is extremely mad about this, and it's probably going to make them think twice about working with IGN in the future. And, I mean, maybe it'll make them think twice about just working with mass media in general because it's so blatant that it almost feels intentional that... Basically, IGN Japan wanted clicks and views by having exclusive content. And this is stuff you weren't supposed to show. There was a bunch of things in the demo you were not supposed to show. And obviously, because we don't want to get dinged, I don't want to show it either. Uh, but I can tell you about this stuff if you're interested. I would say that this is considered spoilers, though. So we're not going to dive into the spoilers yet. I, I just want to talk about what happened. So basically, that new ability we talked about... One thing we haven't seen is that new ability in action, right? We, we've heard it talked about what it does. We've seen the symbol for it. We know what auto build is, but we haven't seen auto build in action. And well, yes, IGN Japan put it in their preview video. They published publicly how it works and they showed it on screen. That's not all though. They also seemingly showed how you obtain your abilities in the first place. At least that's what it appears to be uh, based on the translations I've seen and the images I'm seeing right now. Uh, this is definitely no-no territory that none of the other previews had, and you absolutely 100% were not supposed to talk about. They also go into the key items section of your inventory, which, again, they were not supposed to do. And it's really interesting in that key items inventory. Again, I'm going to blur the screenshot here. Uh, but the way the way it basically works is with Ultra Hand, you're seeing a Sheikah slate below it. That's pretty interesting. Uh, below Fuse, you're seeing the green satchel that's at Link's side. Uh, below Ascend, you see a brand new item. Um, I don't know what it is because they don't mouse over it or talk about it in the video. But you have one of them. This is some yellow glowing orb. Uh, below the other one, you have the paraglider. So that, that's that's the other ability. Recall below that's the paraglider for some reason. Uh, and then below the uh, other new ability that we talked about, they have that uh, ability to put down travel medallion. I don't know why I'm drawing a blank on it right now. See, I don't consider any of that major spoilers because there there's isn't really anything in there that I would talk about. Uh, but there is some stuff. As an example, let's just get to the spoilers right now and get them out of the way. Uh, because of this, we now know that the paraglider item is given to you by Pura. So you do not start the game with the paraglider. We've already heard that inferred that you didn't have the paraglider in the demo. 
But uh, yeah, Pura gives you the paraglider. That's a, a, a spoiler Nintendo did not want out there. Also, there's a new item shown off called Sage's Will, which is a small stone believed to have belonged to a sage. Holding it in your hand, you can feel the remnants of a strong bond. And this seemingly might confirm Sage's of note, the Sage's Will like orb has five tears in it. So look, this is a, a, a big deal for a number of reasons. Not just because IGN explicitly, blatantly went against the NDA. And there's footage of all of this. You could find it on the internet if you look uh, hard enough. I'm not going to link to it, but if we link to it, we get in trouble. I just... I don't understand how an outlet as big as IGN makes this sort of blatant mistake. It had to be for the clicks and views, but here's the thing. Their video got copyright striked. Nintendo struck their video down. Like, it's gone. It's off the face of the internet right now, at least off the face of the public-facing internet. It is baffling to me how an outlet that large can make such a mistake. We have seen all throughout today, as previews have dropped from massive YouTube content creators like Zeltic or Commonwealth Realm, etc., cetera, uh, Nintendo Life doing a, a video on it. Like, we have seen the respect that those content creators paid to Nintendo. Where IGN's out here blatantly unveiling one of the new abilities Nintendo doesn't want unveiled and says you're not supposed to even talk about in the United States. And then here they are out in Japan just dropping all this stuff that was in the NDA that you weren't allowed to talk about. I mean, at this point, we already know that there's a dungeon, right? Like you can mention you saw it, but you you can't really couldn't go inside it, right? Like you're allowed to talk about it, but you can't show it. At this point, IGN Japan, why not just drop footage of the whole dungeon while you're at it? Because at this point, they just don't seem to care. And the fact that this happened in multiple facets, just really, as you're seeing all these Nintendo content creators, Zelda content creators, paying respect and doing it right, it just makes you wonder why they bother with some of the mass media in the first place. I understand it's because they have big audiences and, and you want the attention. I get that that's really what it's about. But man, if they're going to blatantly break the NDA this badly in multiple regions, at some point, you need to hold them accountable. And the only way to hold them accountable is either, one, a lawsuit. And I don't know that Nintendo wants to pursue legal action. They already took the action they needed to to get the video removed. But what about actually just denying them access to games. I'm not saying that they need to go that far, but I know if I was Nintendo, I would consider it because this is an insult to the team that works so hard on this. We've talked about leaks and the art book leak. You know, that wasn't that wasn't good overall. And, and we'll keep talking about leaks. I told you that we talk about leaks up until the game itself leaks. But here's the thing. When it's something like this that you're given special access to, you're one of a select group of people that gets early access and then you break the rules this bad. I'm sorry, something has to be done. And we're never going to hear anything publicly about it, but um, shame on you, IGN. Honestly, I expected better. Um, granted, most of the damage was done by IGN Japan, but still, uh, I, I expect better of a company that's really supposed to be a leader in this space and people like me are supposed to look up to. Anyways, you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. I am Nathaniel Ruffle Jance, and I'll catch you in the next video.